Welcome to the Capsule Computers Review Roundup for the week of August 11th to August 17th, 2013. I'm Joe Morgan. Let's begin. First, let's take a look at video game reviews for the week. Contributor Vicky Martin reviewed It'll Do from Ludosity. The PC game earned a 9 out of 10. Vicky said it suits all players that love adventure, puzzles, and strategy, and stands out through its humor, witty dialogue, and overall interesting adventure. Contributor Matt Vella reviewed Narco Terror from Rubicon Organization and Deep Silver. He gave the arcade shooter a 6.5 out of 10, saying it's a hit and miss title that gets as much wrong as it gets right. He only recommends it to hardcore retro fans. Senior editor Dustin Spencer reviewed Nintendo's Pikmin 3 this week. He gave the Wii U exclusive a great score with a 9 out of 10. He said it's the finest example of the Pikmin concept to date and one of the most enjoyable and strategic releases for the platform thus far. Senior editor Jamie Lake reviewed Super Sanctum Tower Defense from Coffee Stain Studios. He gave the game a 7 out of 10 saying it's a solid game to play on a coffee break but at $4.99 it's a little pricey. Editor Joe Morgan reviewed the free-to-play browser game Immortal Empire from Tactic Studios. The strategy RPG earned a solid 8 out of 10. Joe said it was a surprisingly rich strategy RPG experience that shouldn't be overlooked by the fact that it's bound to a browser. Editor Andrew Day reviewed 3DS game Steam World Dig from Image and Form. He gave the indie title a fantastic 9.5 out of 10 saying it's a fantastic game that takes a lot from some of the best genres and melds them together for a unique experience. Andrew also reviewed Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons from Starbreeze Studios and 505 Games. He gave it a great 8 out of 10 saying it's a modern fairy tale in every sense of the word with gorgeous backdrops and endearing characters. Editor Kane Bugasia reviewed iOS game Sage Fusion 2 from Kitalang. He gave the game a 7.5 out of 10 saying it's more intricate than the simplistic gameplay lets on. All in all, it's an interesting game that raises some valid philosophical points and lets you shoot space thugs with dual pistols. Editor Frank Inglese reviewed iOS game Righteous Kill 2 Revenge of the Poet Killer from G5. He awarded the game a fantastic 9 out of 10 saying it feels structurally sound. It's a sit down and relax type of game that fans of crime and police drama will enjoy. Managing Editor Travis Bruno reviewed Saints Row 4 from Volition and Deep Silver. He gave the off-the-wall open-world game a near-perfect 9.5 out of 10. He said it takes the anarchy the series is known for, superpowers from other open-world titles, and collectibles, all while managing to maintain the over-the-top humor that makes it so fantastic. He said it is absolutely a must-have. Senior Editor Dustin Spencer reviewed DuckTales Remastered from Capcom and Way Forward this week. He gave the nostalgic remaster an 8.5 out of 10, saying nearly the entire original experience has been preserved with a fresh coat of polish and it delivers hours of happiness, innocence, and pure gameplay. Contributor Josh Morris reviewed Cube Tractor from Ludo Chip. He gave the game an immaculate 10 out of 10, saying it does everything right by providing a great indie strategy title made both by and for gamers. It combines old school graphics and audio with a solid gameplay foundation. Benjamin Webb reviewed Rise of the Triad from Apogee and Interceptor. He gave the nostalgic fast paced shooter a 9 out of 10 saying the style creates the substance. It's easy to see how passionate the production team was. Editor Joe Morgan reviewed iOS sports game Perfect Kick from GameGow and Chilingo. He gave the game a solid 8 out of 10, saying it's a fun soccer shootout game players of all ages can enjoy. Both shooting and blocking is fun and rewarding, even if the freemium content can be a bit obnoxious. That's it for video games this week. Now let's go over to our anime and movie reviews. Editor Andrew Day reviewed Australian TV series Comic Book Heroes from ABC TV. He gave the series a 9.5 out of 10 saying it offers a real insight into the difficult world of comic book development from the ecstatic highs to the crushing lows. Managing editor Travis Bruno reviewed Shining Hearts, the complete collection from Sentai Filmworks and Production IG. He gave the anime a middling 5 out of 10. 
He said the amazing character designs and entertaining cast are severely hampered by a tangled plot that's left abandoned. Editor Kane Bugasia published his review of Red vs. Blue's Best Of Bundle from Rooster Teeth and Hannaby. He gave the DVD an 8.5 out of 10, saying it truly delivers on its name with the most memorable moments of Rooster Teeth's Halo content. Editor Andrew Day reviewed Warm Bodies from Icon Home Entertainment and Mendeville Films. He gave the zombie love story a 6.5 out of 10, saying it's watchable. He said it raised some interesting points about how the monster genre has become romanticized in film and TV. Senior editor Zach Elowa reviewed Pacific Rim from Warner Brothers and Legendary Pictures. He gave the giant robot monster brawl a 7 out of 10, saying that the insane action is exactly as advertised, but he can't help but feel like it could have been so much more. Senior editor Luke Halliday reviewed anime Chihayafuru Part 1 from Madhouse and Siren Visual. He gave the anime a wonderful 9.5 out of 10, saying it has enough heart and soul to fill the Tatsuda River. He said it plays all the right cards and wears its heart on its sleeve, and that's a good thing. Senior editor Zach Elowar also reviewed horror movie Sinister from Icon Home Entertainment, Summit Entertainment, and Blumhouse Productions. He gave the film a 7 out of 10, saying it's more creative than 90% of the horror genre that has been churned out in the last decade. That's been your Capsule Computers Review Roundup for the week of August 11th to August 17th, 2013. If you like this week's music, be sure to check out Rock O.W. at freemusicarchive.org slash music slash Rock O.W. I'm Joe Morgan. Go forth and game.